Hello and welcome to Big Sky 35. Uh, today uh, we're going to be looking at a SGC return. It's actually two returns. I don't know exactly how many I have. It's a nice little stack here. Uh, Non-sport, baseball, hockey. I uh, can't remember everything. But first we're going to look at one that they didn't grade. A sketch card it usually just comes back authentic. Uh, it said it was too thick, but it was funny because when there's this same batch that uh, was through uh, Mike O. They did one that was a material card, and I've had other sketch cards done. Kind of weird on um, SGC right now. The consistency and sizes and stuff. They didn't do some of the Bowman that were like the 89 because of size, but I get them done all the time. Uh, next one is uh, we're going to do some Batman Riddler. 66 a 1.5 really like that card pretty cool uh this one here penguin i think i did try to get all the the villains in this one that's a three uh which is not a terrible grade uh for that card uh another one in a three uh catwoman a sinister smile it doesn't say Catwoman, but that's who it's supposed to be. Uh, Joker. Face of the Joker. Three. Uh, chloroform Victim. Three. Just love how these pop in the SGC. Beautiful, beautiful cards. The artwork. Uh, these they just make it look so much better. A four uh, rooftop vigil, so that's a very good grade for that year. For those cards, they those cards did not hold up well. It's hard to find them in a higher grade, and if you do, better have your wallet ready. Um, and then this is the sketch cards that I did get graded, so they're going to get authentic. Authentic. Um, I've talked about this before. I actually talked to Peter at the national about it. Because he said, since they're sketch cards, uh, you know, they all could be different. You don't know. There's not a baseline for them. So, okay. And another one. So, I, this Ventress here, this is such a nice card. It's just beautiful. But I just love them in the SGC slabs. They just look so good. Uh, just beautiful cards. I just love how they do them. Some more Star Wars here. Uh, I've showed this auto off before, but now I got it slabbed of the voice actress of uh, Princess Leia, Julie Dolan. 10 auto, 9 on a card. Uh, I've talked about Ahsoka a lot. This is my favorite uh, Jetto S, I, I call her a gray, uh, but Ahsoka Tano. This is actually from the Mandalorian version of Ahsoka. Now, some hockey uh, canvas of Alexis Lafreniere, nine and a half. Really like that picture of him, thought that was pretty cool. Him blowing the gum. Uh, portraits, I really like these. Uh, Sidney Crosby got a 10. Really happy about that one. And then, of course, we're going to talk a minute. This is where I'm talking about the inconsistency now with SGC going on. Um, you know, if this is my only complaint with them, it's not a bad complaint. It's just uh, a, a little head scratching. So, you know, I'm getting this set uh, done. So I got Larry Howell and a two. George Brett with the two. And I'm not talking about grading. You'll see what I'm talking about. George Brett and the two, which that's an awesome card. Uh, Ryan LaFleur in a two. Now, these are all regular size. Before, they were, I got my first ones were in this. So, I, I kind of want to have it uniform. So, if I ever were to display them, I guess. I kind of, so I, I think I'm going to contact him and go, can I get them in one or the other? I mean, it's kind of uh, to try to have a display piece of that set. Uh, 
it makes it just more difficult, you know, um, especially if you want to put them in numeric order. If they're going to come back, so I still got a stack of them over there. I got one at SGC or getting sent to SGC to be graded. Uh, this one here is a little bit of a letdown. This is one of those things where, you know, with no borders type of card it is, I, you know, the centering. Like, I like to see the mother card that they're going off of. Uh, I really didn't see any uh, issues on, on the, and it might be an issue on it that I don't see right off hand, but, you know, it is what it is, seven. Um, I knew this one was, I guess it's a little off center. I don't know, eight and a half. Um, you know, I, I, I struggle with these. Uh, another one of these uh, game within the games, eight and a half, Pete Alonzo. Uh, just head scratcher a little bit, nine and a half on a prospects prism. Just like the way that card looked. I think it looks really good in the. In the, in the SGC slab, nine and a half. Now this one, you know, I, I got a 10. I got a 10 with the game with me. The game, really love these cards. Bobby Witt. And then the Stephen Kwan got a 10 in the Living Legends. So that is going to be it uh, for... This SGC reveal, nice, clean, clean, simple. Just get right through it, I guess. Uh, I little mixed feelings on this one. Uh, I do look my cards over before I send them, um, you know. But I do like to have those living sets uh, graded. I like to have the game within the games. I only buy one, uh, so shame on me, I guess, for only buying one and hoping to at least get a nine. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I I don't know how to rectify that. I guess if I don't like the copy, I should go online and try to pick up another copy, I guess. I don't know. They didn't, it's hard to tell with those no borders. Uh, I'm sure they have something where the picture, they could tell if it's, centered or not with you know in a pass where you know with stadium clubs that's my question with all of them how do you know which one is the centered one and which one is not uh so it's tough uh when you get those what what you're looking at especially when there's not an abundance of them out there uh so with that being said uh tell me what you think about it especially borderless cards uh grading right now uh what a fun time and also kind of a uh with all the different grading stuff but also with all the uh where people have brand loyalty and all of that fighting for theirs it, that's getting a little old i think um as you can see with what i have in my background again i'm, I'm the frankenstein uh collector you see psa CSG, SGC, uh, no SGC, I guess, in this one. Oh, there's a Mickey Mantle up in the top corner there. So do have the, uh, one SGC on display there. Uh, even a couple of Beckett's are in there thrown in. So uh, a little bit of everything. So until next time, uh, like, share, tell a friend, uh, subscribe if you haven't. You know, doesn't hurt anything. And uh, till next time, see ya.